Hi, I'm Saipriya, a senior cloud engineer from the developer innovations team. Today, I'm going to demonstrate configuring Oracle function as a backend for the digital assistant. Before we could dive into the demonstration, let me walk you through Oracle functions. Oracle cloud functions is a serverless platform that lets developers create, run, and scale applications without managing any infrastructure. The code based on the functions typically run on shorter durations, and the customers have to pay only for the resources they use. Developers just have to focus on writing and deploying the code. Oracle will automatically provision and scale the resources. Here are the steps to deploy Oracle function as a backend for the digital assistant. Firstly, you'll go ahead and create a dynamic group and then create policies to permit instances to make API calls against OCI services. Then we will create a VCN to deploy functions on the public subnet. After which we will build a skill and configure the function as a custom component and test the skill. Let's go ahead and create a dynamic group. Firstly, log into the Oracle Cloud Console, select Identity and then click on Compartments. Pick the compartment where you deployed your ODA on and then copy the OC ID. Go ahead and create a dynamic group. Use the rule all resource type ODA instance followed by the compartment ID. Paste the compartment ID which you just copied and click on the create button. Let's go ahead and create a policy to invoke a function from ODA. Use the policy allow dynamic group followed by dynamic group name to use FM invocation in the compartment. You can then go ahead and create a VCN or use an existing VCN. In this demonstration, we have already created a VCN. We will be deploying our function on the public subnet. Let's see the procedure, how you can build and deploy a function. Go to the digital assistance documentation and copy the function.js file. Open the custom component code and create a function.js file and paste the contents. Go back to the documentation and copy the contents for the function.yaml file and use the code within the custom component. Go ahead and install fn project along with all the other dependencies. Here, I am going to deploy the function using the cloud shell, for which we will import the package into the cloud shell. Once the upload is complete, I am going to unzip the contents and cd into the custom component package. Let's install all the dependencies using the npm install command and navigate to the function application where we want to deploy the function. Go to the getting started guide and set up the fn CLI on cloud shell. List the context of the function and update the context with the compartment ID of the function. Provide a unique repository to deploy your function image and log into the Docker with your authentication token. Now, Use the fn deploy command to deploy your function. You'll notice that the image has been deployed onto the container registry and also the function has been deployed within the function application. Copy the function invocation endpoint. Let us now proceed to configure the custom component. Go to the ODA console and create the custom component. You can either deploy the component as an embedded container or in mobile cloud or as an external service. For this demonstration, we are going to use Oracle function. Paste the function invocation endpoint and click on the create button. After the service is successfully created, you'll see the list of components. Ensure that the service is enabled. Configure the dialog flow with the component name and enable the channel. The final step is to test the skill. Kenneth would like to know the status of the requisition. So he's logging into the PeopleSoft instance. He clicks on the bot hosted on the employee cell service page and the bot immediately responds to Kenneth with a personalized text message. Now, Kenneth types in what is the status of the requisition. He gets a response in a card carousel format wherein he can further check the transaction details. In the background, the bot calls the PeopleSoft REST API hosted on the Oracle functions to give back the response to Kenneth. 